Hello. So this is um, Laurence Dauphiné uh, asking uh, three hard questions to... Uh, do you say Adam Lazarus? Is that how to... Lazarus. 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 Okay. Lazarus. Okay. Lazarus. So uh, asking, uh, yeah, questions. Um, so first question, Adam Lazarus. Um, how do you position yourself in the tradition, the Anglo-Saxon tradition of solo show? Okay, I'm going to ask you a question back. When you say, how do I position myself, is that in comparison to Francophone? No, Dutch? to your community, to okay. your tradition, okay. to, yeah. Okay, so just as like, okay. In relation to this show, or... To your, well, because I, I don't know your Ask practice. Ask one more time, and then I'm going to answer okay, it. I because, got it. I got well, it. I'll, I'll tell you. I'll, it's just because, okay, I'll, I'll, I'll see you. I, wait. When I saw your show, I was like, to me, this is totally, it is what I, what I consider um, a very Anglo-Saxon uh, tradition, because... I, I can see that, for example, the solo show, the performative mm -hmm. acting, mm -hmm. the many characters, right. the very clever writing, um, minimalistic set design, and also the choice of specific images, but not a lot of them. Mm -hmm. To me, that's like, mm -hmm. that okay. is very yeah. traditional. Yeah, I and I'd, li I'd like to know if you, uh, if you agree with me and if you consider yourself part of a tradition and what you take from it, what you leave. Yeah, that's so interesting. Um, okay, now I know what you're saying. And I think you're right. So the, whether it is that or not um, is different than how do I position myself. I agree with you that it is. Now that you've said that, I'm like, yeah, of course, when I look at myself in relation to other... Anglo-Saxon artists who do solo shows. It does have the multi-character. It does have, um, uh, when you said specific images, but not so many of them. It's not so much about like uh, painting, like giving the painting shot and sitting in that for a long time. It's more about the storytelling and maybe the virtuosity of the actor playing those characters. Um, so, what I will say is this, my history and how I position myself as an artist uh, has, you know, it's always evolving. I feel like I get bored, so I try something new. So to say that I am one thing, I can't. I would, I would be, I feel like I'd quit if I did that. <laughs> so, you know, my for a while I was doing a lot of bouffant work, and so um, mm. I studied in France, I studied under Philippe Collier, I found my, sort of my voice in bouffant, and I came home and had... Uh, what many people were saying is a very French way because I had no legs, I was in a sack, I had no arms, I was in a wheelchair <laughs> and I did like many more images okay. like watching this like grotesque do things like really rooted in, in French theater. Um, and my feeling was I want to be able to stand like this in front of people with my legs and my arms shown and can I be as nasty? So that was it. So I went in to do a show that I felt was my first real departure from the formal Buffon training, or formal Buffon, I shouldn't say training, formal Buffon presentation, which was a show called Bleed, where I had this guy, more performance art, who ate glass on stage and then bled to death. And for half an hour, you watch this guy bleed, bleed out and then die. And it's like his favorite thing he's ever done. He's so happy and he dies. I thought it was hysterical and tragic and... So I moved in this way, but very performance art oriented. And now this is like my next thing after that. And this is born out of my desire to collaborate with a writer and, um, and somebody who I look up to. And so Guillermo and I, we sort of had a few meetings. We got in the room, we improvised a lot. And, and this is what was, was born. So I think... Now I'm trying to whip back to what your question is. How do I position myself in terms of the Anglo, <laughs> Anglo theater scene? Oh, I'm like, am I in the Anglo theater scene? People look at me as like a clown. Like li literally, they're okay. like Buffon King, Adam Lazarus, or clown actor. And I've never worn a nose in my life. So I don't know what I am. How do I, like, I'd like to hear how, to, like what you just said about the image. 
I teach at National Theatre School, and I find like the design on the French side so spectacular often, and then the English side is not like that, and there is a different focus. And you're a European, there's more of a, uh, maybe it's part of the vernacular to appreciate imagery and appreciate the stillness of, of, of the stage or like the design is, has so much more of an impact on the, the person and we, you know what I mean, the, the um, semiotics of understanding the space and theater is different. And I don't want to say it's better, it's just different. Am I making sense? Yes. Okay. <laughs> it, it's, it, it's inspiring me a, diff a second question. Okay. But I think I'll stop so the file is not too big. Fuck. Does anyone?